Oh my god, whoa! It landed right behind me. How's it going everyone? My name is True Wonder Dog, and once again we are donating a crap ton of money to the shrine. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner we have about two and a half million coins so without any further ado let Black Friday begin. I do enjoy these kind of videos because I can have a personal powwow with all of you, not to mention I am trying to make two videos every day this week, just so that during EVO I have something to upload while I'm away. Now in theory I would upload all the stuff that happens at EVO, but keep in mind the best stuff at EVO happens at night, so chances are I won't have time to actually edit or upload it. Once again, in theory that would be really awesome, but I just don't see it happening. Alright, so once again the name of the game is Gear Pieces. I pretty much have every costume I want already, so now I'm just looking for a couple of gear pieces. What I want right now is Maskless Scarlet, because I missed it, it was in the towers and I missed it, which is a bit ridiculous because it's supposed to be a crypt item, not a towers of time item, but it was available in the towers when adults would be sleeping, so I missed it. But I also want the frozen teeth or diamond teeth for frost, my bad. Diamond teeth, but you know frost, the whole frozen thing, my brain did a little go around there. It tried to fill in the gaps for me, stop it mouth, you're too fast for my brain. That is the story of my life though. All right. Oh my god, I think I have every single mask for Cabal at this point, and we have an Augment for Scarlet. Right character, wrong thing, Mr. Shrine. Although, let's be honest, I am already in Augment territory at this point. I am in the Augment neighborhood. That's where I'm at. Once you've unlocked nearly every single item, the game just starts throwing a lot of Augments. And the person who programmed that isn't the villain. The villain is whoever told that guy to program that. That is just ridiculous. That's a very scummy thing to do. It already takes a long time to get this stuff. Okay, here we go. So, Frost, that's the right character, but once again, the wrong piece. It is still a gear piece. You're getting closer, Mr. Shrine. Just the wrong thing. I already have my favorite uh, core for her on the front and back. And then we have a collector item, Coolio. I'm actually working on a collector video right now. Let's go ahead and donate a bit more. It's gonna take a while. We have so many coins. Just please don't give me double augments. That breaks my heart when that happens. It really does. I can't be hurt that many times, okay? A heart can only take so much. It's not a punching bag. It's an organ. And just because it beats doesn't mean it wants a beating. Okay, here we go. So Garrus Augment, K, and Devora Wings. I think Devora's wings are up there as one of the most useless gear pieces because you can't even see her wings. They move too quickly. You don't have time to even appreciate them, except during an outro maybe, and that's about it. Devora is one of those odd characters though. Most of her gear pieces you can't even see. Except for her giant spider legs, so that's cool. Oh no, no, double augment, oh gosh. Yep, we definitely are in Augmentville. Not as cool as Margaritaville, that's for sure. I mean, as long as you're 21, Margaritaville is fantastic. And if you're in Canada, I believe you can be 19, because I once went to Canada with a bunch of friends during college for an animation expo that we were invited to because we're 3D animators. Oh my god, again. Again, we got double, but the point is, in Canada, we were legally able to drink, and so we did. Especially me. I'm not an alcoholic, but around friends, I do want to party. That's the one thing I do want to do. Underdog wants to make memories with friends because my brain isn't the best, but it's good at storing memories and good at writing stories. That's about it. Let's go. No more augments, please. Oh my gosh. So we're more likely than not to get an augment at this point. A noob cybot sickle. I already have everything for noob cybot that I want, so that's not a big deal to me. I seriously don't think that maskless scarlet exists in the crypt, but please tell me in the comments if it does. I think the sole reason Netherrealm made it in the tower is because they know it's not in the crypt and they were trying to save face. What I don't get is why was it only there for a couple of hours, like it was gone so quickly. Some of these towers last for days, almost an entire week, but no, the Scarlet one just came and went. Now I should count my blessings because I did get Maskless Sub-Zero, which is cool. I'm never gonna wear it though because I love the masks, that's the thing. The only characters who I want to see maskless are the female characters because they're adorable. Though to be fair, I noticed all their faces are a bit too wide for some reason, especially if you look at their face models, in other words the people in real life that their faces are based on, have much thinner faces, so in Photoshop all I did was pinch the female characters' chins, and they look a lot better almost instantly. I might go ahead and put it on screen just for fun, and these Photoshop edits took like 2 minutes, and instantly they're all more attractive. And not in the stereotypical way, they just look more feminine. Typically females don't have those wide jaws because of calcium deposits and whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. Look at this! We got two! 
We got two of the gear pieces. I'm not gonna stop donating, I just mean I'm gonna stop talking about physiology because that might be a bit boring. As an animator, I had to learn a lot about that, and I also got to draw lots of naked people in college. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that in cartoon shows and just shows in general, like sitcoms where everyone's drawing the naked people. That's a very real thing, and it's actually a lot of fun to do. You learn a lot about the human body and the human form. Just keep in mind, you're mostly gonna be drawing guys. And if you are gonna draw girls, they're not necessarily gonna be pretty, and that's the same for the guys too. Both the men and women are most likely not good looking. Every now and then you get both. Sometimes you even get a pair, which is pretty interesting, because you're drawing two people at the same time, and that's very difficult. And you have time constraints. Oh my god, so many augments. Well, one thing's for sure, it's time to start AI battles soon, because I have so many darn good augments now, I might as well do that. I think it's kind of annoying how one of the best skins for Scarlet, that's her default skin in story mode, and at the reveal event, is only available in AI mode. What is that? What is that nether realm? A blood vial, great. Who cares? You can't even see it. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I shouldn't be getting salty. All I'm doing is donating money to a shrine. I shouldn't be getting salty. We're not even halfway done yet. I just want diamond teeth for frost. But at this point, I'm not getting anything. I'm just getting augments. Oh my gosh, Augmentville is terrible. I'd rather be in Townsville and it's attacked every single episode. Rest in peace, Powerpuff Girls. The new series does not exist. I will never watch it, it's terrible. Even the colors just upset me. How do you mess up the color? Ugh, it's whatever. Fun fact, the original name for that show was like not safe for work. Kung Lao Insignia. That's also a pretty bad gear piece, you can barely see it. And more augments, my goodness. If only it was possible to run out of augments, but I don't think it is. So they can just keep throwing augments at me. Someone tell me down in the comments if it's better to actually have the chests come back. Because you can spend money to bring back a lot of the chests. Would that be a better investment than this? I feel like it's the same either way. Oh my gosh, the exact same looking augment. Not the same character, and not the same ability, not even the same piece, but same exact shape. My goodness, that is ridiculous. My gosh. It's honestly really like hard to keep talking during videos like this, but it's a challenge for me and my brain. You know, hand-eye coordination, forget that. We're talking mouth-mind coordination, all right? Mouth to mind. Raiden Staff, okay, Stormweaver. I think I already have one that looks like that. Typically, most of the gear piece items have two variants. Some don't though, which makes them especially rare. And I like that a lot. I kinda wish it wasn't separate costumes, instead just like one of each costume and then a bunch of skins you could unlock. That would have been a much easier idea, but I understand why they didn't do it. The game lasts a lot longer this way, because you're trying to get that exact costume and the exact color for that costume, which is much less likely to happen. I think it at least doubles the likelihood of not getting what you want when you combine two different traits. Well, two different variables, but in this case, two different traits for the costume, which is not nice. I can't wait to see Sendel, though. I hope she has some outfits that are true to how she used to look. I like her classic outfits a lot. Oh my god, the augments. I can't even talk about the gear because I'm not getting any gear. This is ridiculous. The shrine is so cruel. Why are you so mean to me, game? I love you. I play you all the time. I have my AI minions fighting tirelessly at your behest. And you give me augments? No. Katana augment. So I did get all the skins for the last um, combat league. I don't care about any of the skins for this combat league. And I can't believe Aaron Black gets a second one. Technically a fourth one. That is ridiculous. I think they did them out of order, I think. I don't think it was meant to be Aaron Black twice in a row. The Jackie one seems kind of interesting, but it's not for an outfit that I like. That's the problem. It would have looked so good on Jade. That would have been the character to actually do. It would have looked so awesome on her. Sub-Zero's belt. Once again, you can barely see those things. The axes are freaking awesome, though. I'm actually impressed on a technological level that they can do that. I didn't think the game would be able to create those on the fly. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, we're running low now. We only have like, what? 15 more donations or something like that? I don't know. We're running out of time though. And we're getting double augments. So I've noticed if you get an augment first, the second one is guaranteed to be an augment. At least it seems that way, but feel free to post in the comments a screenshot of something else. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should start doing costumes just because I don't want to get augments anymore. And then I'll just go around opening chests, but I think I've opened every single chest that's more than 10,000. I think I should just refresh them and start opening chests. That might be a better idea. If we get one more double augment, that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm just gonna refresh the chest and then for the remainder of this video, we're gonna run around opening chests. Tell me in the comments. And one more thing I do want you to tell me in the comments, what do you want me to talk about in future videos whenever I do a video like this where I'm just blowing money at the shrine? What do you want me to talk about? Okay, that's it. We're going to that and we're resetting some stuff, my goodness. But yeah, please post down below any fun topics of discussion that you want me to talk about. That's a good idea. Oh my god, whoa! It landed right behind me. Jesus M. Christ. My god. Essence of Adenian magic, okay. One of these days I do have to visit the forge because I have so many raw materials and I never really use any of it. So all of these chests are cheap. I hope this brings back a chest for like every area, but I'm not sure if it does. I think it only does it here because isn't there one down below also? I may have to stop by that one too, but this seems like a better idea because I purposely only opened expensive chests. That way only the expensive ones come back in theory, but then again, it is RNG. So chances are it could just give me random chests period. So I think 7,000 is enough to actually get something good. Let's go ahead and see. It may very well give me double augments. We got three things and they're all tower consumables. My god. I don't need those because Noob Saibot is so good already that I don't need any help. He wins all by himself no matter how tough the challenge. He always wins. It may take him longer sometimes, but he always wins. More tower consumables. A coin of the dead. Hmm. I saw a coin that apparently triples what you get when you win the tower, but I can never find it when I actually enter the tower. I can't find a way to actually equip it. Not that it really matters because sometimes you get like a hundred thousand just for beating a single enemy. Those are the best towers right there, man. Those are awesome. So I don't know. They seem to still be giving me random stuff that I don't want, like tower consumables. Concept art for 7,000. Are you serious? Okay. I'm going to go down below and use that one as well. Collector recipe, what? I don't understand. Okay, there's the image. Okay, I couldn't see anything. So it's telling me how to make stuff. I'm not sure if I need the recipe or not to use the forge and make that thing. Most likely I do, just judging by the grindy nature of the crypt. I feel bad that people hate the crypt so much because in terms of work and creativity, it's the best the crypt has ever been. But just the RNG element makes everybody hate it despite all the amazing modeling, all the amazing texturing, lighting, rendering, character animations, enemy animations, all that amazing stuff, people still hate it and will look back on it with a grimace because of the RNG and that just sucks. I think I passed up a green boy. You almost always want to use the green boys. So they do come back if you bring back the chests. Oh my gosh, the game is just intent on not giving me items anymore. I mean gear pieces. My goodness, what? Okay, finally, got one. I think the shrine might still be a better idea, boys and girls, because it's still giving me bad stuff. But at least this way I can spend my darn soul fragments. I have so many. Look at that, 38,000. What do I do with all that? Yeah, so the one nice thing about bringing back the chest is you get the green stuff too. So there's one down here as well. I want to do this one too because I've opened more chests down here than up there. It only costs 100,000 to do. That's not very bad, honestly. For 50 chests, that's not very bad. The problem is there's no guarantee it's going to be good stuff inside. I don't want to open them unless they're 10,000 or more. But the cool thing is these green boys come back. That's really nice. Hey, cool, a skin. I don't want that. Yeah, so the chest might not be a good idea just because there's too many variables now. When you do the shrine, you're guaranteed at least a gear piece or an augment. But with the chest, it could be any number of things. It could even be a skin, which, as I've mentioned multiple times already, I don't really want a skin. Is there anything green in there? I see green reflecting off of it, but I don't see anything. I see these, but I thought there was one closer. I guess the light just goes that far. Real-time lighting is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. Okay, we got two gear pieces. Wow, it looks like a little globe. That looks hilarious. That's like something you would find at Hot Topic. That's funny. How about over here? All right, we got stuff for Jax. Okay, Jax Briggs. When it calls him Jax Briggs, that throws me off so much. Okay, now I would kill this guy, but it might get me demonetized. And also I have way too many hearts as it is, so no reason to actually kill him. This chest is still closed. Alrighty then. Can I find any more chests to open that might actually be expensive? Or better yet, some green stuff? A lot of green stuff came back, which is cool. It seems like the green stuff is just as likely to come back as a chest, if not like half and half. The Annihilator. 
and a core for frost. All right, everyone, I think that's enough for today. I still have tons of money left, but this video has gone on for long enough as it is. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. It really does help my channel out a ton. And while you're down there, feel free to suggest any ideas you have for future videos. And finally, why not keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell? That way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.